Elm Logistics. For all your logistic needs, call 631-299-3595. That's 631-299-3595. Elm Global Logistics. Pride, performance, and partnerships. Difficult question. How long does it take to, or if it happens at all, how long does it take to heal from losing Wahoo? Um, Wahoo had been on dialysis for almost seven years. Hmm. And he was your typical American Indian. They're just like black people. They all have high blood pressure and diabetes. And he darn sure didn't take care of himself and didn't eat right. And he ended up on dialysis at 55 and died at 63. And, um, of course, I did not want to lose him, but he was beginning to suffer from it, and I could tell it. And he would tell me, Karen, I've done, and this is the truth, I have done, I'm I'm, I'm start crying, I, I have done more than most any men in their lifetime would ever even consider possible. I'm good. He said, the only thing is that I'm not here for the boys, is I'm not going to be here for the boys. He knew it was coming. He knew, you know, he knew it was coming. And... And it was really, it was affecting his being able to walk and other things. And the first five years on dialysis, he was playing golf every day. It was fine. But the last three years, I was seeing him fail. And he he wouldn't have wanted, he, he wouldn't have wanted that. He, well, if act- he couldn't be the man, man that he always was, you know, and he was, by all means, that, that would have not been... You know, that would have not been good. It was hard on me because I had three little boys to raise, you know. Well, well that's what I was going to ask you, Karen. Was was there a certain yeah. anger that you garnered because, you know, you just said Wahoo wasn't taking care of himself. Didn't you felt, did you feel that was selfish? Uh, you know, what was your feeling going through that? My feeling about that, I, I think it was selfish, but he, he was selfish about the things that he did and the way that he ate and what, you know, but like I said, he had lived more in 63 years than most people do in 80, you know? Yeah, I mean, sure. really, really and truly, if you look at the truth. Yeah, I, I would be mad at him because, but remember, I'm a nurse too. So I'm ignorance probably would have been blind. I mean, I knew what he was doing to himself. And we would, you know, when he wouldn't eat right or, or he would get his blood sugar all out of whack and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I'd fuss and fuss at him but he was kind of hard-headed he wasn't an easy one to fuss at you know was it just his diet that was that was a, a bad part of his uh, uh health or you know because i really have never heard much about wahoo being there was, well, there was no he, drugs or alcohol or anything was there no it, um, no he was um he had high blood pressure when you saw him bleed at night he was lowering his blood pressure mm. and to be perfectly honest blood pressure medicine affected your libido way back in the day they make better ones now but he wouldn't take it right because that would affect his libido right you understand right. oh i wouldn't take and it either he wouldn't take it his yeah. blood pressure would be off the chart and he but he he wouldn't take it he you know if you know it took away his manhood right. you know so to speak and yep. that's why you see a lot of american indians and black people with high blood pressure having strokes and ending up on dialysis and etc cetera, etc cetera. Hmm. i mean that's what happens to them it kills their kidneys the high blood pressure and the diabetes, and he did develop diabetes at 40, but he inherited it. His dad had it. His dad was on dialysis, you know. His mother was a tall German, but but he got all that Indian diabetes and high blood pressure, and it wasn't, I mean, he never, he never smoked any cigarettes. His family smoked. He was around it, but he never smoked himself. Of course, he drank, and sometimes... If he drank a little bit, he'd be drunk. Sometimes if he drank a lot, he wouldn't be at all. So you never knew. And I think that had to do with, you know, the fluctuation in blood sugar. But you got to realize, too, he uh, he died in O2. And they've come out with all these uh, metformin and stuff like that since then. He went straight on the insulin. You know, they've got a lot of different things that they use now, you know. And plus, if they, he'd have had something where he didn't have to prick his finger all the time to check his blood sugar. You know, he would have been a little more conscious of it, but oh, definitely. Know, just, I, was, I was just thinking that same thing as you explained it. If he was just a little more advanced, that they, right. they've come in such big advances. Yeah, because he died twenty-one years ago. That's a long time. Yeah. 
It is.